in front of five people. On what there, so, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the rehab process, some of the technology that you heard patients this morning talking about. And this is not typically my part of the low vision exam, but when I don't have an occupational therapist or a rehab therapist, this is what I'm going to help with. So as you can see, we have a lot of different technology. If you first look around the room, we've got all sorts of large print items. We've got keyboards with high contrast in bigger letters. We have a large print, truly large print remote control. We've got talking watches, talking clocks, large print timers, liquid level indicators so when you're pouring that hot cup of coffee it'll beep at you so you know that you filled the cup high enough and you don't want to have a spill with something like pouring your coffee. Uh, we've got that cutting board that Jim talked about, large print pill boxes, magnifying mirrors, cell phones, Someone once asked if we were ministers because we have large print, various large print Bibles for almost every religion, so that we can really work with patients, talk to them about what their goals are, and then we can take the recommendations that come out of the doctor's office and say, does this actually work on the things that you really want to be doing and really want to be working with? Not every patient that we see sees the rehab therapist or the occupational therapist. It just depends on what the goals and what the needs are. One of the things that you heard Mr. Hawley talking about this morning was his Optolex. He was talking about something like this, not this particular brand. And what it does and what he's using it for at work is he can lay it down on a piece of paper and he can magnify, he can change the contrast, and I can pass this around if people want to feel it. It's really light. It comes in a little case people clip it on their belt and it doesn't look that different than a cell phone. So it's something that people are willing to use, they're not embarrassed by and it's a good tool. So you can kind of pass that around if people want to see it. You can look at it on, we've got a Bible, we've got newsprint. And this is the, sort of the Cadillac of low vision devices, the bigger version. This is something we actually rely on Lions Clubs a lot to help people get because it's so expensive. What do you call that? This is a CCTV and that's a portable CCTV. So this is that same idea. It can magnify to varying degrees. It can change color and contrast. So here you can see natural color. They, people can look at photographs. Diabetics can turn their hand over and see to check their blood sugar more easily. Thanks. And then you can look at things like newspaper. And you can enlarge, sometimes bigger than you'd actually want to read. But if you just need to read a phone number, you could do it when it's that big. Mm. Otherwise, you may turn it down a little bit and patients may just need that black and white, whereas newspaper is gray on gray. So we also look at mainstream technology, you know, is the Kindle an option for a patient? This is the Kindle DX. I have it set on the second largest. It can go bigger. It does have speech built into it for a lot of books if the publishers gave permission. And it allows people to see a lot more at a time, and again, to feel like they're using technology that other people are using. So we have a Kindle, we have a Nook, we have an iPad. We keep an example of all the different technology here as much as we can. We, we do have limited budget, but we try to keep it all here to show patients before they go out and spend money to look at whether it works. Your recommendation of the iPad was really helpful. Yeah, we, yeah. I sell a lot of iPads. I wish I owned <laughs> Apple stock. I wish I got a commission. You sold um, one that day. Yeah. yeah that was I've had very, multiple very patients who... The, the spouse or the brother or the sister is saying, you just cost me a thousand dollars. We're going to the Apple store straight that's from it. the clinic. That's it. But it can be a really good tool. The iPad can enlarge. The, any of the current smartphones have enlargement capabilities. And we do the far opposite as well, the things you saw up there. Looking at something as simple as a lamp that can angle down right over the task. You heard the patient talking about that this morning. We use regular magnifiers. You know what you've seen people use. The, most of the ones we use have lights, we do have ones without lights, but a basic handheld magnifier, they can shine it on the page and they can read the text. We've got some examples of sunglasses here. You can see we moved out of the basement for anyone who was here a few years ago. Uh, mm -hmm. We now have windows, we have light, we can actually walk people to the windows, try on the sunglasses and say, does this help with that sun glare that's coming in? We'll even walk mm -hmm. people outside to look at a stoplight. Mm -hmm. Say, does this clear that up? Is it easier now that we cut the glare? And we have these great fluorescent lights, which are terrible for patients, but sometimes we'll use something like plum sunglasses to help cut the tints from the fluorescence. 
And I think the key to what we do with rehab is that it's real world. We step outside of the clinic room and we say, you know, what are you actually doing with your eyes and how are your eyes working for you? How can we make your eyes work better? One of the keys to low vision, I think, is changing the focus from what's wrong with your vision to what's right with your vision. And we need to take advantage of what's right. So is it that you've got a small island and we can enhance it? Is it that you've got lots of peripheral? So if we make things really big, you can see them with the peripheral. Or is it that your eyes aren't giving you as much information, but you've got great hearing, and we should switch to something that can read out loud, that can allow you to process. We use a lot of computer technology as well, things that can enlarge on the screen, can read out loud while you're looking at the screen. So it's pretty interesting, pretty exciting part. So do you guys have questions? And what is your name again? Lexi Malkin. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Any questions about rehab or about low vision in general? You do great things. I know, you're, you. you're familiar with us. Yeah, so. yeah you, you, you do. Yeah.